Good morning. It's a beautiful morning to be outdoors. Summer is just perfect with the sun shining, the blue sky. Look at this. How much better can you get than this? It feels like the Garden of Eden. You know, I'm Manny Gonzalez and I'm speaking of stress. And no better way to deal with stress than to come outdoors, enjoy what God has provided. And in my talks, in my workshop titled Three Keys to Survive a Mental Meltdown, I speak about what is it that will bring your stress level down. Mental health is very important because depression and anxiety and panic are really affecting so many people around us. It's really important to begin to take time out of your life. Consider what is important to you. What do you want out of life right now? Stop! Think! Look at this. How can you relax? How can you take time out and thank God for what you have? Every morning my wife and I do our devotional. We thank the good Lord because we're alive. We have a wonderful life. We all have ups and downs. Some of you might have economic problems because of the economy. So many jobs have been lost. It's a mess. People are ill. It's a mess. However, we can focus on the good. We can focus on the natural. We can focus on the good Lord. And always remember, God is on your side no matter what. Forget CNN. Forget the news, the New York Times, Los Angeles Times. Stop focusing on the negative. Begin focusing on the positive. By praying, meditating, thanking God for what you have. No matter what you're going through, it could always be worse. I guarantee you that. But what I do is I try to encourage and lift people up. So many of us are down. We got so many problems. And life is wonderful when you have a positive attitude. A positive attitude doesn't guarantee success. However, a negative attitude guarantees failure. Stop focusing on the bad things in life, the negativity. Get up and say, thank you, God, I'm alive. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, because you're working. Everybody has situations they're dealing with. And right now is kind of a difficult time for many people. There's instability. So much hurt and pain around us. Yet, people I know in my neighborhood are good people. People in your neighborhood are good people. Most people in our country are good, decent people. Trying to make a living. Trying to be good to their families, raise their children, their grandchildren have hobbies, go about their life working. So let's continue to put aside the negativity. Refuse that negative news and focus on the good. Go forward. I heard it said that life is a journey and in this journey we move ahead. We don't move back. As my book is entitled Burn your bridges, don't look back. Stop focusing on the negative path. Concentrate on right now. Look at this beautiful little street. And this is right behind my house. This is not California or Canada or Florida. This is in Hammond, Indiana, right behind Purdue. There's so many beautiful places around us that are free. You can go places, a park, anywhere, a garden, sit, meditate, relax enjoy life. However, you've got to start thinking positive. If you have negativity in your life, I guarantee you again, that's not of the good Lord. That's of the other guy. Let's begin to think, what can I do to make life better for me, for those around, the, around me, and for you, the public. You are important no matter who you are. And I know people that have medical problems right now, that are in hospitals, that are unemployed, that have little money, 
so most of us are very blessed if we have a family around us, if we have some kind of stability. If you got a home, thank God you're not homeless. If you have food on your table, thank God you're not hungry. If you have friends, thank God you're not isolated. So that there's always something positive in life we can focus on. And again, I say, thank you, Lord. Start meditating. Thank God for what you have. I'm not talking about being a religious nut. No, you can do that if you like. However, balance. I like to pray. I like to read my Bible. I love going to church. That's important. Whatever you do for your spiritual aspect is important. I encourage you to do that. And as always, I say, laugh a little bit. Enjoy life. Tickle your kids. Sing in the shower. And be thankful. Always be appreciative. When your wife or your husband or your neighbor or your partner, somebody says or does something nice for you, say thank you. Thank you. When you go to a restaurant, somebody feeds you, say thank you. Someone opens the door, say thank you. You know what I love? I used to have a little problem with road rage. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to control it. However, now when I'm going down the road and someone slows down and lets me cut in, I say thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for somebody being nice to me. So the suggestion I have for you today, go out of your way to slow down to let somebody cut in front of you. Be nice, be gentle. It's not all about you. Me, 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 I'm in a hurry, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, stop! Remember, take time out, enjoy the moment. And my challenge to you is, let's see if you can slow down on the road or the highway and allow someone to gently cut in front of you and be thankful that you're able to do that. So I appreciate you. I appreciate this place. I'm feeling great this morning, even though I have issues. My wife's got issues <laughs> because she's married to me. However, it's not as bad as it seems. And I'm thankful to get up every morning, come here and meditate, share with you my thoughts that come from the heart and my mind are important because I've been through a lot. I don't know what you've been through. You don't know what I've been through. However, we can work together towards moving ahead, lifting our spirit, encouraging others. Remember the good Lord. Number one, be thankful to the good Lord. Number two, laugh, enjoy life a little bit. And number three, remember to be thankful, to appreciate what you have. God bless you. Thank you so much. Enjoy this wonderful day.